there. Hello again, it's Scott here. I've just performed a very simple, no cost modification uh, to this car to the rear sway bar. I've stiffened it up and it's made a noticeable difference uh, to the way the car uh, handles, you know, to the amount of body roll in particular. I'm quite amazed actually, um, and it won't cost you a cent. So I'll show you what I did, but I'm not recommending you do this. I'm just showing you what I did um, by stiffening the rear sway bar. Uh, what happens there is you take away the tendency of the car to understeer or reduce understeer and transfer that more to oversteer. So these cars aren't particularly bad on understeer anyway, but. Um, I was keen to try it out and I'm happier with uh, the new setting that I've got so I'll show you what I did so I hope you enjoy the video so I've removed the wheel already and as you know personal safety is the top priority so I've left the jack there under the jacking point just as a added backup but I've put an axle stand here um, under the chassis so it uh, goes under that um, very solid point just just here so that's nice and secure first thing I'll do is uh, is undo this generally have to use a ring spanner on this one because uh, the shock absorber doesn't give you enough room to get a socket on bevel off the hole slightly just to get rid of the, uh, the rough edge. Now we're ready to put this back together again so I'll just take out this block of wood that I had there supporting the sway bar. And I'm going to put some rubber grease on here so that it pivots uh, freely in the rubber bush. You need to use red rubber grease. So I'll push push this through the uh, the bush. through very easily and now I've just got to get that through the new hole. So I'll probably have to get a decent lever to lever that down. That works quite well so I can push that through. Oh, I should be able to use the multi grips just to pull that through. There we go, that's in. Now I'll put a little bit of Loctite on the threads of the bolt. Put the nut on. Spinner. 
Yeah, as I suspected, this um, nut on the end of the bush is an odd size. It's actually 21 and a half because the 21 wouldn't fit and the 22 was too loose. So I'm going to have to use an adjustable spanner on it. That's better. Now I can tighten it. I don't know why they do that. It must be, perhaps it's a um, imperial size. Yep, that's now that's tightening up properly. So that's the right hand side of my car finished. Uh, the left hand side is an identical process, it's just a mirror image, so I don't need to show you that. So hopefully you've enjoyed that video. That's a simple no-cost modification to your sway bar to make it a little bit more stiffer. If you're suffering any understeer at all, if you stiffen the rear sway bar, that helps alleviate it.